Uh, he's going quite well. Yeah, I spoke to him. Uh, spoke to him on Wednesday. He seems in good spirits. Um, they got out of hospital earlier than we thought. Um, obviously, it's a big operation, so um, uh, we just got to take our time, or he's got to take his time with his rehab and make sure we get it right. So, we're hopeful it'll be less than 12 months, um, but we'll just wait and see. Um, yeah, I, I suppose more of the same, you know, obviously building on what we've tried to work on over the summer. And it'll be as much to getting the right amount of game time to certain players. We're resting a few for this week. Some of the players who played last week will get a half to three quarters, so it'll be more about managing game time. Uh, especially if the heat rule comes in, that's going to make the game less in game time, so we'll just have to have to prioritise some players to make sure we get the game time right. So it's, you know, it's all about building for round one. What does Day's injury do for your planning for the year and in particular around whether you play two Ruckman and do you think Peter Wright can shoulder the load of rucking and playing balls without another body there? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I th Early days, thinking about our structure was probably going to be two tools and one Ruckman. Yeah. So that probably doesn't change. Um, if we got an injury to a tall at either end, well, that probably puts us in a in a spot where we'll probably have to be creative. Uh, that's why we're that's why over the next few weeks and last week we give Jack Leslie as much time as possible to develop that yes. third tall defender. Um, uh, then the option is a forward line. Maybe can you play two rucks? Which can play forward a bit, and so can Dan. But you, know, you wouldn't want to spend it. You know, probably big game time there. Yeah. The other option is do we go smaller? So um, you now we've got some speed, we've got some players who can kick some goals who are smaller. So I don't think necessarily we have to go tall, to be honest. Yeah. So I think the loss of Sam just gives us that flexibility. Uh, the fact he can go both ends and he can ruck as well. You're sort of on your know, nicety at tools now, though, aren't you? At each end, like you're down to the almost the bare bones. Is that a real concern? Like one more injury? No, not really. As I just said, forward line you can always go small. Um, you don't necessarily. I mean, the Bulldogs won a flag last year without any real tool. Had one tool, so I don't. I think. Uh, and last year we had three tools in the forward line. It didn't. I don't think it worked exceptionally well. Um, albeit that we had a lot of midfielders out, so I didn't get. I didn't get the delivery. Um, no, I think. You, I think you can work around that. It's not the. It's not the be all and end all, to be honest. Um, I think if you lost, if you had two tall defenders, you lost both of them. That, that, I think that's more of an issue rather than losing one. Playing in Mackay this weekend, you know, what have you prepared for the weather or anything like that? Last year was a bit of a washout. Yeah, yeah, last year was a washout, obviously, but the, the forecast it's going to be 31, 32 with anywhere between 75 and 90% humidity, so it'll be warm. Um, I think what we've had here on, on the coast for the last month or so will put us in good stead for that. We don't have to do any extra planning for that. The really the thing's going to be if it does rain or a thunderstorm, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, just planning for minutes. So the game is short and well, we'll just have to, some players will just have to actually be prioritised and there'll be some players that don't play much game time. Do you see it as a bit of a home game for you guys? Um, home game as far as weather. Um, in fact, playing Queensland, there's no doubt. No, they've got further travel than us. Uh, the humidity in that will suit us, as, as per se. But I think it's just I think both teams try actually try and get out of out of the game different things. You know, there's different focus points. I'm pretty excited to take footy to the regions. Do you think it'll be a, a good base there? To... Yeah, I think I think it's good in Queensland to do that. I think last week was terrific. At, you know, the Broad Beach. I know it's on the Gold Coast, but it's still a regional venue. Um, and, and I think that was well received, and you know, it's the same way we go to Mackay or Townsville as well. How's, Jack, how's Jared Lyons? Like he, yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a game of four points he'd played this week. He's had a little bit, he, you know, he arrived from Adelaide with a little bit of a grumbly Achilles. Um, managed that really well, um, hasn't missed a session. Just got a little bit sore after the intra-club. It's more the sheath around the, around the Achilles, so... Uh, we've just 
just so it doesn't grumble him during the season, you know, we'll give him that extra week. So, so he'll play in the third game, JLT. Does it affect whether he can push to that round one spot? Or is he oh, he's certain for round one. Yeah. He'll, he'll be in the team. And Jack, Jack Martin's playing? Yeah, he's playing. Yeah. yeah. So we've got three or four back in, and there's four or five that have, are out. So we're resting Hall and Rosa. Uh, both got weddings on, but we'd already planned for that. They both played well last week. They both had big pre-seasons. Um, obviously Sam's out, Tom Lynch, rest of you got trod on the foot. It's well a little bit, but it's all clear. So he, he'll train today, but we won't take any risks uh, with that. Um, so there's a, you now there's four or five out, and there's uh, Sexton, Wright, Martin back in. Daily down, what are you looking for as Peter Wright as we've talked about? Yeah, it'll be an interesting test for Peter. I mean, it's his first game, so but you know, obviously he's going to have to shoulder the load as our, as our key forward, which which will be difficult for him. Uh, but the thing with Peter, it's still going to be a year of growth for him. Uh, you know, he's he's obviously got a lot of publicity about where he can get to, but he's still only 20 years of age, and tall forwards really don't really don't hit their mark to about 23, 24 years of age. So there's still some room for improvement and room for growth. Um, so the expectations aren't high per se, but as long as he's actually presenting himself and giving himself the contest, that's the main thing we're looking for. Jacob, you couldn't consider McKenzie this week? Uh, with that Baker assist he had, there was a little bit of calf with him as well. It was very minor. So he hasn't done enough training. So if he did play, which he could have, we'd actually run the risk of him getting injured again. So we don't think that was worth the risk. We're, no, we're not going to no, take any risk with any players. So Trent will be available for JLT3. Whether he's selected or not, I don't know. Yeah. Does that go for Nichols as well, Rocket? Um, oh, yeah, Tom's not in contention yeah. for JLT3 or for round one at this stage. So is this a lot of work for, I know Wits has got the injury, but for Curry, I know last week you didn't want to too much, but now he's sort of yeah, he, he's pulled up quite well, so we got through that okay. Keegan Brooksby will be his backup. Peter Wright will do some ruck work as well. So um, so that's not an issue. It's not a problem. Um, you'd like to have three jacks, so one in back, one forward, one in the midfield. So I think he'll get time in all three areas, to be honest. And I think, I think we'll, I don't think he'll probably settle in one spot. I think, uh, but he, he missed last week with his back, so we'll just ease him through to get him three quarters of a game, and then we can build up to up to the third game and then him get a full game then. Is it, is it now fair to have the expectation on Jack that he's probably had before he was old enough to, you know, for it to be warranted? Like he's entering his fourth year, 30 your best and fairest, phenomenal talent. Are we entitled to expect a lot from him? Um, I, I, I think it probably depends what you mean by a lot. Um, but certainly the expectations internally is that he'll improve from last year. He's had a very good pre-season, had his best pre-season. Um, as you said, he finished third in the best and fairest. Um, so with his ability to go forward and back, I think he can have a major impact on the team, yeah. Speaking of Jack, so could you just give us a bit of an update on Jack Bowes, what you thought of him over the past couple of weeks, progression? Um, his pre-season has been terrific, uh, hasn't, missed a, hasn't missed a beat. Um, last week's game I thought he, he was a bit slow and a bit sluggish. Um, as most kids do early on, they tend to struggle with the speed of the game. I thought his last quarter he fought back pretty well. Um, uh, but he's a, he's, a, he's a great talent for us. Um, he's not playing this week, he's got a bit of a strained thumb, but, but he'll be available for JOT3. Is uh, He'll be available, we think, round one, but we probably won't have enough games behind him to be able to play. He'll be, first game will be the last practice match, which is on the bye weekend, so that's against Aspley. So I don't think that's enough, enough games for him to play in round one.